Hi, and welcome to Learn WordPress. In today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to display testimonials on your website. Customer testimonials are extremely valuable for any business to grow. Testimonials highlight the positive experiences of existing customers, but they can also provide insight for prospective clients. The best place to add testimonials is below a product or service. On your contact page, or even as part of your About page. You can also add testimonials near a call to action or on a landing page. There are two simple ways to add a testimonial to your website. Firstly, you can choose a testimonial pattern from the pattern directory and modify it to suit your needs. The second option is to install a new block to your site from the block directory. Both of these can be done using a block theme or a classic theme. Let's first look at how to add and modify a testimonial pattern. To add a pattern that comes with your theme, click on the inserter and make your way to patterns. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a testimonial pattern here. So what we can do is we can make our way to the wordpress.org website and go to the Patterns directory. And once there, we can search for testimonials. And now you can scroll through all the testimonial patterns. And once you find a pattern that you like, you can merely click on Copy and then make your way back to your website. And now, paste. And now we can start modifying. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change the alignment to wide width and then replace the image. Once I've replaced the image, I will open up my sidebar settings as I want to change the style to be rounded. Then I will start changing the color of the quotation mark, the stars, the name, as well as the blocks at the bottom. At the moment we have an empty star and that's something I want to change. So I'll open up my list view, remove the empty star, and then duplicate one of the others. Now we have five stars again. And then I will select all the button blocks in my list view and change the color again. Next, I will change the name as well as the color. And next, we can change the color of the button blocks, which act as a separator in this case. Lastly, we can change the text to reflect the feedback that we've received from our client. The last thing I did was to duplicate the first testimonial and then I just changed it and modified it for the second. But as mentioned, there are many patterns available in the pattern directory for you to copy, paste and to change to meet your requirements. The second option is adding a testimonial block to your site. To install a new block, click on the insert at top left. And if we, for example, now search for testimonials, we will notice no results are available. But below that, it says available to install. Select a block to install and add it to your post. So we're going to go ahead and select the testimonial plugin by WP Developer. And once you click on it, it will install and insert into your page. And the block plugin will be available below plugins. Once the block has been inserted, we can go ahead and modify it. So I'll open up the list view and duplicate the block. Then I will open up my sidebar settings and change the user info to the right of the second testimonial block. Once I've done that, I will go ahead 
and change the profile pics. As well as the information about the clients. And now you can further modify it as you need. The last thing to mention is that you of course have the ability to install and activate a regular plugin. So if you go to plugins and search for testimonial plugins, you will find a variety of options. Even a testimonial slider plugin. Never underestimate the power of a testimonial and visit Learn WordPress for more tutorials and training material.